who they are from Buzz Bozowski. Bout number 11, featuring a 201-pound division, heavyweights, out of the red corner, representing from Jay, Oklahoma, Tom Morrison. Morrison. In the blue corner, from Houston, Texas, John Bray. Bray. The referee for this one is Ray Silvas of Houston. Now, these are the heavyweights, but there's a limit on them. They can only go up to 201 pounds, and here we go. Tom Morrison defeated Robert Hargrove of West Monroe, Louisiana, 4-1 in the semifinals, while Bray won on about stopped by the referee in the third over Robert Suarez of Los Banos, California, in the semifinals. John Bray is another protege of Kenny Weldon and Bob Jordan. Meaning that he probably gets to spar with the Vander Holyfield. Well, Morrison, like many, has hopes of being a world champion someday out of Kansas City. Actually, Jay, Missouri. He was born in Arkansas. Actually, it's Jay, Oklahoma. Fighting out of the Kansas City area, boxing out of that area. When the big fellas throw the punch and the leather lands on leather, it makes a big pop. That's a good body punch. Even a mistake punch can cause a knockout here. Yeah, these guys are that big. Morrison has thrown some pretty good shots here in this opening round. He's a low on that. Caution for Bray to keep it up. is somewhat of a paradox to call a punch accidental in this. I mean, they're trying to hit each other. <laughs> they're trying. They just maybe not in the spot they end up hitting. <laughs> That's true. The winner of this bout, as the winners of all bouts in this Western regional championship will qualify for the Olympic qualifying tournament. And of course to get here, these fellas had to qualify to be represented here. So it's just another in the long step to the top as we reach the end of round one. We want to thank a lot of the folks that have helped us make the telecast possible and of course put on the whole show. The USA Amateur Boxing Federation's Colorado Springs uh, headquarters, of course, Colonel Don Hall, the president, James J. Fox, the executive director, also the board of directors and local boxing committees, such as the Gulf Amateur Boxing Federation, uh, Walt Haley, president, the Greater Houston Sports Foundation, Jack Berger, the executive director, Rocky Mills, the operations director, and more, all of the folks that uh, have helped a great deal with our presentation here. Producer Joe Gallagher echoes those thanks. Director Hill Thornell, and there you see some of the action in the ring. Let's listen in the corner. Right. Let's go to work. All right? Let's go to work. You want it? Yes, I'm Show me. Okay. okay, you're gonna have to show him he wants it. I wanted Frazier too, but it just didn't work out. <laughs> Morrison says he wants it. Didn't exactly have that 
blood in the eye look, but he had a good first round. Both boxers have their hands up in good position. You know, John Bray is just a young fellow. They're both young, but Bray is uh, just... Let's see, 17 years old. He won't be 18 until the 17th of June. And Morrison's only 19. Bray was the 1986 National Junior Olympic champion, though, and has a 60 and 5 record entering this tournament. Morrison, who had a football scholarship, an athletic scholarship to Emporia State University. He is uh, going to be attending there in the fall. In fact, he just graduated from high school this year. Where is Emporium State? It is in, uh, I'll see, I should know that. I think it's in no, I think it's either in Kansas or Missouri. This one I don't know. Neither man pressing, both looking for that lethal shot. Only knitting. This is the second round, of course. We'll be taking a break after this round. You know, we've had really evenly matched finals. We've had only one bout on the card that has not gone the three, four rounds. And that one went 219 of the third. First, when you get to the finals, you expect that. I wouldn't bet on the next fight, though. Daniel Fikes versus Louis Savarese. We'll be back in a moment. Of our heavyweight battle, Tom Morrison in the blue against John Bray. Morrison out of Jay, Oklahoma. John Bray out of Houston, Texas. My unofficial card here is Morrison ahead by an eyelash. Which means this round will more than likely determine the outcome. There's a lot of blood on the face of Bray. Just noticed it. My goodness, he is. This, this may not go all the way. The referee may be going to step in any second on this. Yeah. Well, you called that one. He's using a postage stamp. Looks like to stem the flow, but it ain't going to stem it much. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the, I think it's the mouth more than the nose. Morrison senses that now. He can only make it worse. Yeah, it's just, it's just flowing out. It's the nose. The referee doesn't look too concerned about it. No, I guess he just figures it's it's, it's not exactly appetizing to look at, but it's, uh, you know, I think it's just a simple nose bleed. <laughs> the nose does not look as though it has been broken or anything of that nature, and certainly I think you'd be noticing by the action of Bray if it was. He'd be wincing a little more. Tech 
Suspect he's coming back to left a little bit. Doctor is going to stop it. I, I, the doctor has gotten up into the ring. He's at least going to take a look at it. And again, once again, we reiterate the safety factor. The doctor just came up on his own and motioned to the referee. And you can't uh, underestimate the importance of that. Little conference now. And he's just cleaning him up. that he was checking to see how much time was left. I, I think he was considering getting in there and maybe stopping it again, but again, we were very close to the end of the round anyway. That's it. We'll wait for the decision. Well, I have to think that uh, the nosebleed was just a sidelight because Morrison was... Uh, Landing most of the punches oh, anyway. Us. He was great. He was great. <laughs> His corner liked it. You look great, huh? There's Lou Duva. There's a veteran fight man. We'll have the uh, announcement officially of the heavyweight champion of the U.S. Amateur Western Boxing Trials for 1988 in just a couple of seconds. That was Dr. Adan Rios from the AIDS Hospital. Let's How see. Buzz has the announcement, so let's go down to him. Your winner of bout number 11 in the heavyweight division on a 5-0 de decision Tom Morrison, Jay, Oklahoma. So Morrison wins it, and we've got the super heavyweights left. You stay with us. They're going to start banging in a moment. <laughs> 